All right, everyone. Welcome to Defensive Handgun 101. We're getting started here. All right. Big crowd for that. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Everyone take that. So, hey, I've uh, got some new notes, made some shifts. So, um, basically, my name is Aaron Malden. I'll be your primary instructor here for today, also known as XP001. Um, I've served some time in the, the Marine Corps the last 15 years. I've been conducting close protection operations on an international level. Within that, on the training side, um, I've set up, implemented, and ran over 300 training programs um, for the private and government sector. So I got to see a lot of tips, tactics, and techniques that refer to close protection, advanced marksmanship, defensive marksmanship, etc. cetera. Um, so I'll, we'll be applying some of those today. So even though this is a defensive handgun class, it's gonna be a merge of both. We're gonna focus on some defensive and advanced marksmanship stuff, which some people think is oxymoron, but it's not. It's two different things. And then we're gonna apply some performance standards on speed and efficiency on running the gun. Then we'll go into a little bit of some fun guy, cool guy tactic stuff to merge it all together, okay? So to kick it off, usually my little moto speech always goes. I need 100, 180% out of everyone today. I know it's hot, make sure you stay hydrated. It's not a big class, we're gonna get a lot of reps in, okay? Um, so, I always ask, um, what, what, what is technically advanced shooting? What is your definition of advanced shooting versus basic? Anyone, anyone? But advanced the techniques are basic techniques done to a high degree of confidence. There you go, so yeah. Another layman terms as well is basically being able to execute complex drills safely, which goes back to what? The basics, right? So basic fundamentals. Um, no speed demons tonight. I don't want you to shoot fast, I don't care. If we do decide to step stuff up, you're not gonna be doing things faster, you're gonna be doing things sooner. And that's from, from Ron Avery over at TPC. It's a, it's a big thing. So when we start uh, stepping up the tempo on reloads, um, uh, presenting from the holster, target transitions, all that stuff. I'll teach you how to start doing that stuff sooner. So like right now also too, misses are, are unacceptable, right? So ammo's not cheap, neither are attorneys. So just remember every, be accountable for every round you throw down range, all right? And uh, most importantly, we're gonna have some fun today, all right? So now, the objective with every ZERT clinic is to fine tune the individual regardless of skill set. So everyone ha has different skill sets here. So I'm gonna fine tune you based off of your level of skill. Um, within this course, um, we're gonna be strictly on uh, retuning your mechanics as a shooter to help you officially run the gun and have, most importantly, taking home a training platform. So what you learn here today you know, this is training, then you take it home and you take this training and you practice it, okay? Um, you know, I want to uh, push yourself gradually and slowly to see what that threshold limit is. And, um, you know, once again, hold yourself accountable for every round you throw down range, all right? So the biggest thing is, too, is you will hear this throughout the clinic. Um, every time you step on the line, I, wanna, I want you to think about what you're doing mentally and mechanically. So a lot of guys will just go up stand on line, just do the motion. We're gonna go through that checklist, starting from your feet all the way back up. So every time you step in, you're reinforcing those mechanics you should have when you're shooting, okay? Um, 